Many students from the ICT 2022 mentorship are destined to fail before they even get started. You learn to look for a liquidity rate at a certain time of day, and then watch for the market to shift structure in order for you to get involved. And you've done all this, you've checked all your boxes, but you're still getting stopped out a lot of the time. If this sounds like you, then this video is gonna change the way you trade forever. My name is Jesse, but you probably know me as Casper. I'm a professional multi six figure funded day trader, but I probably wouldn't have got here if I didn't understand what I'm about to share with you in this video. If you're struggling with ICT concepts, then put your phone away, pay attention because this is gonna change the way you look at the market. Let's go ahead and get into it. So what is a market structure shift? A market structure shift is gonna occur when price moves beyond an old level of structure and then it's gonna quickly reverse with displacement. Now I wanna put a lot of emphasis on displacement and quickly. That's super important and whenever we're trying to trade smart money, we always need displacement. If you guys don't understand displacement, my ICT market structure video will help you a lot. So I recommend going and watching that as well. The reason displacement is important is because it indicates that the market is reversing. In order for the market to reverse, it's gonna take a lot of big players to be involved. And if big players are gonna be involved, there's gonna be displacement. Whenever we see this pattern, it can provide trade entries and it's gonna help us form our bias. So, you know, just a crude drawing of what it would look like. You know, we have a rally and then we have some kind of point of interest or level that we are expecting a reversal from and then we get a sharp push above a short-term high running out that liquidity and then a sharp quick remember quickly and with displacement we're going to get a break of structure and this is going to give us a new dealing range that we're going to be able to trade within and we can frame our entries around this but if you do not look for the proper areas your eye will look for this everywhere because let's face it whenever you're learning how to trade you want to trade and if you aren't looking at the proper areas and you don't have a proper context that you're looking within then you're gonna see a lot of false market structure shifts and that's gonna to lead to a lot of unnecessary losses and you getting stopped out a lot of the time. Pay attention to this next part very closely because if you don't understand this, then you will never be consistent with any strategy, ICT or not. So problem number one is misunderstanding the higher time frame bias. If you're looking on the lower time frames for market structure shifts, then you have to understand, you know, why are you looking for it? Is the higher time frame bullish? Does this even make sense to look for a shift today? Um, if you're if you're trying to trade every single one minute shift, I promise you're probably not going to be that consistent as a trader. Remember, bias lays your blueprint for everything that you're going to be doing in trading, so you have to understand that. If you don't understand bias, I have a video on that as well, and I highly recommend you watch that too. What I'm going to teach you next is the most important part of any ICT strategy. And that leads us to our second problem, and that is no displacement. So if you're looking at the market and you know you have all of these highs and lows and you're looking at every time the market makes one higher high and it barely comes above the market and you, you're expecting the market to just catapult from there, you're gonna be sadly mistaken because if we don't have displacement, then why are we looking for the market to reverse? So let me give you an example. If, if we're trying to trade smart money, right? And we are looking at manipulation under levels of liquidity. And the reason we're seeing that manipulation is we wanna see you know a big energetic move coming from big players in the market you know smart money what are we going to see if smart money enters the market is it going to be a wick above an old high is it going to be just a tiny little push and you can just say oh oh well it, it went one tick it made a higher high no we're going to have to understand that quick energetic moves are the key element to trading smart money concepts because we're trying to trade with the smart money so whenever we have these little baby moves you'll get maybe a little bit of a push you might get excited and then boom trade stops you out now it happens, you're scared, you're scared, you're not even watching the market, you're upset, and boom, it gives you that displacement, and this is the real move, and you're not around for it because you were trying to trade every single time the market made a little baby higher high. And today, I'm gonna change your perspective so this stops happening to you. The essence of trading ICT is to trade with the smart money. I can't emphasize that enough. Think of displacement as smart money's footprint. If you don't see it, don't get involved. How to identify displacement? Well, you're gonna need quick energetic moves because if the big player gets involved, it's gonna be a big move. Another way to think of lack of displacement is it's oftentimes a liquidity rate. So instead of falling victim to the same concepts you're trying to profit off of, make sure you're on the right side of the market. The most mechanical way to do this is require candle closes whenever you're looking for a displacement. And we're gonna go over some examples in a second, so don't worry. This next part is not talked about enough, and I'm gonna go over it because it's what helped me become an advanced trader and it sharpened my edge tremendously. I mean, I cannot express how important this is. Not waiting for liquidity to be taken or a narrative to play out. So what does that mean? Well, let's say if the market has a old level of liquidity or old price delivery or whatever it is, and the market is here and you're waiting for that 9.30 move, you know, you've watched the ICT videos, it says wait for lows to be taken. Let's say 
you have all these equal lows. Let's say 930 comes around and the market pushes down under these lows. We leave a massive fair value gap here. I'm sure some of you guys have been in this position and you're thinking, okay, well, you know, I got to wait for that market structure shift. The market's consolidating and it pushes up, gives you some displacement, gives you a shift. And then the market comes down, gives you an entry and you're targeting all these equal highs, right? Because it's so easy. The market comes up into this fair value gap and then it moves to the downside. And you say the market's wrong or, or this doesn't work. And at the end of the day, it's okay for this to happen to you and you still might be a profitable trader. But if you wanna really take your trading to the next level, you have to be aware of what narratives are playing out. I have a great video on market maker models. And if you've watched that, you might already be seeing what's happening here because we have that original consolidation and the second consolidation. And then we're pushing down into, remember, we have this key level down here that we're watching for. So let's say if we have this old low, the market pushes down into it and it consolidates, comes under the old low, then you start to get your shifts and this is where the true narrative is going to play out. So now that we went over some of the problems, let's go over how we fix this. I'm going to hop on the chart and show you some examples. That way you don't make these mistakes anymore. All right. So number one, just like we just talked about, let's say if you're a trader and you're watching the market here and you know, it's 10 o'clock, we look for reversals around this time. Anyways, the market's coming down in these consolidations and what happens? You start to get these shifts in market structure, right? Or what you think is a shift in market structure. And you know, we've taken out all this liquidity. We've came down lower. It's right around that time. We look for the reversal and price kind of moves up. Now, in this example, you got a little bit of a candle close, but did this look energetic? I wouldn't say so. So, you know, whenever you're, you, you want to be very picky with what you deem as displacement. And this is going to help you take, this is going to mitigate so many unnecessary losses if you just require a quick energetic move through the structure. So then what happens again here? Price comes up. What happens? Wicks. And then we come back down. So, you know, whether you traded from this area right here, wherever, I don't even know where, where people would have traded, but they might've said, this is an order block, you know, and then they put a stop loss under this low, they get stopped out. Or maybe they traded from this order block right here, traded there, stopped out, right? Now, if we're looking at the market from a educated standpoint, we understand market maker models. We can clearly see that we have our original consolidation, our run to support, and then our smart new reversal down here. Now, whenever I trade market structure shifts, depending on how far the market moves after the shift, I may market my entry. Now, this is unpopular to some people, and a lot of people, you know, I know ICT says to wait for a retracement. In my experience, and, and I've been trading this for quite a long time, that you don't necessarily need to do that. For instance, if the market closes up above right here, and we have another candle right here, am I going to wait for the market to come down, you know, how much is this, two ticks, or two, I'm sorry, two points? No, I'm not going to wait for that. If my risk to reward is still good enough, I'm going to take the trade. Whenever we understand market maker models, we're also able to look for more displacements in the market if we don't get in this first round. So let's say we don't get in that first round, we get another shift because now we're, because now we've established that this narrative is playing out. And this is why if you want to be an advanced trader, it's really important to understand narratives and we get that second displacement and then you can look down here. So what do we have here? A fair value gap that gets recapitalized. And we also have some internal liquidity that gets taken out there then price rushes and rallies right up to our target. So whether you got in here or whether you got in there, either one is a market structure shift. It doesn't have to be the necessary, the bottom, you know, the tick of the day. But in this example, you didn't get a retracement to that fair value gap. All right, so here's our example number two. So it's right around 1.30, which is when we look for trades in the afternoon. The market comes up. And if we look at this, let's even put on a line chart and see how it looks. So we have this, you know, I know everybody wants to draw the notorious you know, market structure shift, but look at it. Doesn't that look pretty similar to this right here? So the market comes up, makes a short-term high, comes up and it runs liquidity. It doesn't necessarily look like it does in the line chart, but it does on the candle chart. It runs liquidity and then gives us a quick energetic shift. This is what you wanna see in the market. If you're looking to find a market structure shift, that right there, that's energy, that's quick movement. It pips off that high and immediately rushes down, closes under this low. This is an ex um, this is an amazing example of a valid market structure shift. So this is what you want to be seeing whenever you're looking to take a trade. And after this, what does price do? So the market consolidates, gives a few entries, rushes up one last time, takes out internal liquidity, and then boom, rushes to the sell side liquidity target. Easy trade if you understand displacement. For our next example, I'm looking at the ES one minute. This is right before lunch, and I'm not going to point something out. Maybe you'll spot it, and I will show it at the end of this, so pay attention. 
Some traders might have looked at this as displacement. You know, I could see how someone would say this energetic move up might be displacement. But what happened? Did the market stop in this fair value gap? Absolutely not. It rushed down, stopped that any traders who traded from there. So the market then comes down, makes a little consolidation here, rushes down, forms these equal lows, takes the lows, and then you get that displacement. So this is why you have to require liquidity to be taken. Whenever we're looking for a narrative to play out in smart money, liquidity has to be taken. Whenever you're trading, you should require liquidity to be taken because you have to think like a market maker. Are market makers able to even get into a trade if liquidity hasn't been taken? No, so you shouldn't be either. You have to think like that. And if we're trying to track the footprint of these big players, why don't we try to think like them? I mean, it's once that once that clicked in my head, it was just like everything changed because I stopped looking for, I was stopped being so robotic and stopped Oh, every time I get a market structure shift, I have to long. That's not the way. That's just not the way. So in this example, we have these equal lows. You know, let's just say the market comes down here. It's consolidating, consolidating. And right here, could you say this is displacement? Again, I could see how this, somebody may have mistaken this for displacement, but what are they failing to understand? That there is no liquidity taken. You're actually engineering liquidity. There's lows right here, lows right here. So then, boom, those traders get stopped out. The true move ensues. Like I said, there's something I wanted to point out, another market maker model. And they're not always as pretty, right? They're just not. So here's your smart money reversal right there. So we have this original consolidation run down and we have this consolidation right here. Then boom, expansion, fair value gap, straight to the first target. If you haven't figured out by now, identifying market structure shifts correctly is gonna be paramount to your success. If you can't execute, then everything you learn from ICT or me or anyone else is completely useless. Execution is how you get paid. So you really need to fine tune this and go in your charts, study, tweet me and ask me any questions. You guys know I'm always available. I answer all DMs. I'll always help you with anything that you wanna ask me. So the next time you're in the market and you're trading, ask yourself, am I convicted in my bias? Is there displacement? And is there another narrative at play? Understanding these concepts completely changed the way that I take trades. And if I would have never dived into this, I really don't think that I would be where I'm at today. Remember to be patient and disciplined and really wait for the proper setups to come to you. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe and like the video and comment if you have any other topics you want to go over or any questions. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.